Good morning! How are you guys doing? It is a lovely Saturday morning. Saturday after my birthday. My birthday was on Thursday, 2-20. 89, baby. And um, so we decided to do some birthday celebrations this weekend. So this weekend, we're just planning on doing a few things. I think we're gonna go to this place called Bee Weaver Farms, and they have like a bee. They have a bee farm there, obviously, <laughs> but they also have a meadery, which mead is honey made from what? Wine made from honey. Mead is wine made from honey, and um, and I really love it. So we figured we'd have a little boozy tour through the bee farm place today. I don't know. It's supposed to get more sunny today. Right now it's kind of overcast. Um, it's very cold. Well, for me it's cold, very cold. Okay, so I'm from Texas, yes, and 42 degrees is very cold for me. Right now I'm about to, right now I'm kind of doing some errands because I woke up super early this morning. I cleaned the house, I went to Walmart, and I just like got cleaning products too. I'm crazy, y'all, I'm going crazy. I just, my brain wouldn't stop talking to me and I was like I'm just gonna wake up it's seven it's six o'clock anyway might as well I have never woken up at 6 a.m. on a Saturday in my life I don't know what's wrong with me right now but so I just went home I mean I woke up I cleaned and now I'm about to go take some clothing that I cleaned out to Goodwill um, so yeah that's kind of what's going on right now but in like an hour or so we're about to go head out to the bee farm and have a bee time yeah and I don't really plan on working out today at all so it's like my birthday bitches my birthday I am 31 years old internally screaming anyway uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next eclipse So yeah. if you want to go, yeah. you, can, you can do your talk now if you want to, or, uh, or you want to maybe give you a comma B? Sure. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. All right, so if you look down in there, you can actually see the larva. Huh. That's the, uh, sorry, the, the, the drone brood in there. You can see at the very top, they actually got a little bit of honey that they're feeding off of. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Oh, they'll see it. Yeah. There's so many of them. 
So the mm -hmm. ones that are capped off, you see those caps on there? Mm -hmm. That means that there is something brewing. Mm. It means that they have some larva in there that's about to hatch. Why North Dakota was all and everything? Hmm? Yeah, why do they keep bees well, up there? The they, they raise nothing but huh? sunflower, alfalfa, and clover. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, don't get my shirt. Did it work? One time, this, this cone was solid just like this, just solid like this. See, this honey a cap. Mm -hmm. But you see all those little, little dips and dabs here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ain't got an idea what did that, do you? Same Person. thing on here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what it like some cat be walking on in there. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what did that? That's why, like you all people here, they putting their fingertips and getting the taste. Uh, in. And that's what, and that the bees thing. have a feeling back out. So what you guys can do, is put your fingertip in there and break the cap and then get you a good taste of honey, whoever wish. Wow. Well, you got that push and break the cap. Can you just press down, break the cap? Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> it, 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 get in the cap where you get some good. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Tastes like honey. Tastes good. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> got your drone? Yep. He's hanging out. I lost mine. Is he back there somewhere? That's yep. good. You like it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I do. It's good. Did you try it? Huh? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Everybody got a Yeah. No. A couple uh, of us have. Mixtures. Do you have a car bomb? Yeah, it's like that. Kind of. Well, I'm going to stack these up. I'm going to knock them in. I'm going to light them on fire. Yeah. Uh, if you want it to taste like that pepper, you got to drink it fast. <laughs> if you don't drink it fast, it's just going to taste like it. Tastes yeah. like Lone Star? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're drinking it. I'm not drinking it. Yo, you're not drinking one? Uh-uh, you are. I thought we peer pressured you. We peer pressured you. recap on what happened yesterday my birthday it was awesome okay it was birthday celebration post my birthday but uh, we went to the bee weaver farm it is bee weaver farms it's a it's a free tour which was what we went on was a free tour and you get to walk around the bee grounds to tell you the history of the bee farm and they show you the beehives and the queen's hives i guess and all kinds of other cool fun things like that they also have an area where they can let you get inside this kind of caged area and then they get in their beekeeper outfits and they go and they get out um, the honeycomb bee things. 
<laughs> and um, they'll show it to you and they'll grab some drones and bring the drones inside your little cage with you if, and if you're daring enough you can hold the drones um, fun fact drones don't sting so and they look different from normal bees so we got to hold some drones while we were in there um, I held a drone like I, it, it's nothing to do with like being stung for me. It is more about like creepy crawly bug things touching me, like gross. But he was really light and gentle. I could barely feel him, which is also horrifying. <laughs> um, if you ever have a bee on you, you'll never know until he stings you, kind of thing. But it's whatever. Um, but he was really sweet. He was a little sweet little bumblebee, um, not bumblebee, but honeybee um, drone. So you can do that. Um, it's a great environment for kids if you have any kids. It's free also which is really neat they have a cute little gift shop if you want to like buy things afterwards and they also take you to the meadery afterwards if you want to partake in trying some mead and so they show you like the whole process they show you the history they show you how their hives are built they show you how they put their queens into their hives because queens apparently have to be warmed up to their worker bees before they can just release and do the queen things you know put in a new ruler they ain't gonna just be like all right let's go I gotta warm up to the people first, you know? But um, it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. I will definitely be going back again. Um, the mead there is delicious. I ended up buying a bottle. Probably gonna drink that next weekend when I go to Sherwood Forest Fair next weekend. So um, yeah, just all in all, it was a great birthday day. Had fun with my friends. Now I am home. It is Sunday and my hair is wet because I just got out of the shower because I just went swimming. Yes, at our gym pool. Our gym has an indoor pool, and I was like, let's go swimming, and we tried it, and I think the water isn't heated, although it, it advertised it is, because it was really cold. Like, my toes were freezing by the end of it. But um, I ended up swimming, like, six laps. I don't know if that's good or bad. I literally did a lap and had to stop and breathe. Did a lap, had to stop and breathe, and did, like, that back and forth for like, about six times. Um, I've, never done, I've never done swimming as cardio, and um, I'm looking forward to trying that and adding that into my like my routines some more maybe maybe on the weekends I don't know um, it's really neat but yeah so I just got back from that I don't know this is all over the place but um, <laughs> just kind of just giving you all guys an update on what's going on birthday this past week was awesome I had a lot of great friends you know wish me happy birthday and so I really appreciate you guys if you did that for me thank you it really means a lot to me to know that you said happy birthday to me new gym bag is what I got for my birthday and I figured since I had this brand new gym bag, um, but while I was thinking, I was like, well, I had this brand new gym bag. Why don't I show you what's in my old gym bag that's going into my new gym bag, I guess. <laughs> so um, I will show you my old gym bag, which is this lovely backpack. Um, but every time I go to the gym, I always have some kind of headphones. These are Sony, I don't know the name of them. They're wireless, they're about 70 bucks, and they last a long time. I never, I normally just have wired ones because I hate recharging things. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. These will last me several weeks before I have to recharge them. And I do about two hour workouts every day, five days a week. So, that doesn't tell you anything. It tells you, you know, good headphones that are wireless that will hold a charge. One thing that I always have in my gym bag is Resistance bands. These are spree resistance bands that come in this pack of two. Um, one is, I think it's the gray one, is more stretchy than the blue one. Um, these are more wider bands. I use them for um, hip, uh, gross, hip thrusters, um, squats and walking kind of things, um, stuff like that. I also have another one for my hip. Basically, this is all for butt exercises, but. This one is also a super, super, super strong one, and this is by 4KOR Fitness, and this is off of Amazon. I use this one for hip thrusters a lot. Um, I have a, I think it's an ankle brace. Sometimes I have, like, my joints get a little fun. Is it an ankle brace or wrist brace? I think it's a wrist brace. No, it's an ankle brace, okay. Yeah, it's for, for your feet. Um, I have an extra pair of headphones in case the other ones die, and these are wired and then you connect to my iPhone with a little attacher. <laughs> no, I am prepared AF, I'm just saying. I have a whole little bag of more resistance bands that come in different, um, they're this thickness, I guess, this width, but they come in different uh, resistances. This is a Fit Simply, Fit Simply resistance bands. 
pretty much they're more for like single body parts than like hip circles or you know they're not really for your hip I mean they can be but it's just a different type of resistance band this is kind of like bent but um body cleansing wipes from secret so it's just like a little deodorant body cleansing wipe thing because i don't want to be stinky at the gym y'all okay don't be stinky be prepared don't be stinky also have extra deodorant because again don't be stinky at the gym don't be that person also i have Advil. yes case I need it I never really need it but I always have have it just in case is a um, ankle strap that I use for more coarse leg exercises um, you just wrap it around your foot like that and then you hook it to the machine and then you do kicks or whatever you want to do for your booty or your outer hips or whatever you want to do eyelash glue and this does not belong here a uh, chapstick um, hand sanitizer to clean off your things afterwards and normally I just wash my hands too. And then also I have perfume. So that's really all that I put in my gym bag. Um, when I go to the gym, I'll typically have a shaker full of BCAAs or pre-workout if I'm having a slow, sluggish day. But that's really what I bring to the gym. Um, one other thing that I bring that I don't know why it's not in here, I guess I'm charging it, is a battery pack to charge my anything in case something is like dead. But it's just like a small little square battery pack. I guess I I took it out at some point, but um, yeah, that is a little mini. Um, that's my gym bag, y'all. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you have any questions or concerns or whatever. I just was wanted to hang out with y'all a little bit, post whatever today. I don't know. It's kind of like a, a blah weekend this weekend, so we're not really doing a lot of stuff besides the bee thing, which is so much fun. But uh, yeah, so anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.